I hope everybody's having a good day out there. Don't tune out just yet because this is not the same story that I reported on the 26th, although it's going to sound somewhat familiar. So I'm just going to have you imagine, if you will, that you is on vacation. And on this vacation, you're staying at a hotel. Maybe you're down in the lobby getting a cup of coffee. Maybe the family is at the swimming pool. And you got some kids there. Uh, who knows? But anyway, in the, in the midst of this bliss, all of a sudden the hotel is stormed by uh, several dozen people. And they have hatchets, batons, knives, riot gear, gas masks, things of this nature. Is this not a terrorizing event? I would say that it is. And I would say that these people definitely are terrorists. Well, this is exactly what happened at the uh, Red Lion Hotel in Olympia, Washington the other day. And, of course, uh, I'm one day late getting the reporting done because, as usual, it's got a media blackout and you have to dig for stories. But the fact of the matter is, this is a story that the media should be reporting on. They should be talking about these terrorists. And when we start throwing around that word terrorist, what really is a terrorist? Now, just what is a terrorist? This has been thrown around so much and watered down so much that a lot of people have no idea what a terrorist is. And it does drum up images of some guy from the Middle East boarding a plane with a, with a gun and forcing the plane to do whatever he wants it to do until he gets his demands. And this very much is what this Antifa group in northwestern uh, United States is. They are a terrorist group, and they're making demands. Their demands are that these hotels would take in homeless people. And while this may be an altruistic motive, it's not a good enough motive that one should take a hatchet into a hotel and start making demands when there's innocent bystanders there. And, uh, and so these people are, by definition, terrorists. They, they have, it's exactly the same thing. They have some sort of an altruistic motive, and yet they're going to use violent means in order to see that their demands are met even though there's no chance that they will be. So let's take a look at the footage from this hotel and tell me that if you was a uh, person staying at that hotel that this would not be disturbing. Now there is a virtual complete media blackout on these type of events and it's all because they want to advance the narrative of the left that the left has all these peaceful protesters at worst and, and has all of the right uh, motives and do all the right things. But the fact of the matter is, these people are very, very wicked, they are very mean, and they are very violent. This particular outfit by the name of Olympia Housing Now actually uh, went on to the uh, internet and they got uh, with Tacoma Housing Now. And you can see on Twitter, if you want to, you can see the tweets that organize and invite more of these people to come to this hotel and join this occupation. Twitter got rid of President Trump's tweets. They got rid of a lot of conservatives, and they're claiming a lot of the reason is because of the incitement of violence. But this certainly seems like an incitement of violence to me that just goes completely unchecked. So anyway, uh, let's take a look at what the city released as a statement. The city released this. At about 11 a.m. today, people inside the Red Lion began calling 911 to report a group that was attempting to forcibly take over the hotel. The Olympia Police Department received reports that the employees felt under threat from the group and that an employee was allegedly assaulted. Employees reported that some members of the activist group inside the hotel were armed with items such as hatchets, batons, knives, and had gas masks, helmets, and goggles, apparently preparing for a confrontation. The Olympia Police Department estimated about 45 members of the group inside and outside of the hotel. At the time of the occupation, approximately 40 rooms in the hotel were booked with guests who were bystanders to the incident. Those guests sheltered in their rooms. Boy, that's a nice way of putting it. They sheltered in their rooms during the occupation, and the Olympia Police Department is providing a safe place for them as the hotel is cleared. So if you're staying at that hotel, then, you just got you a real shock of terror. You got some, uh, you got a real scare put into you. These people uh, were wielding these different weapons, and, and we hear so much about the Capitol riots and how AOC was so scared for her life. 
But the only reason that anybody cares is, is she a congresswoman? Is that the reason people care about that situation? Nobody cares about the man, woman, and children that were just staying at the Red Lion because they were out on vacation or they were visiting relatives. Are these people's lives not just as important as those people in the Congress who cowered under their desks in fear on the day of the Capitol riot? Now, the Capitol riot is a one-day event, but these uh, hotel uh, takeovers, so, well, it seems like maybe they were emboldened by the fact that the last time there was a hotel takeover that nobody did anything for at least a week, and those people just took over the hotel and stayed there. Now, this time, the Olympia police did go in, and uh, they cleared the hotel in the, in the period of the day, I suppose. And so the terrorists were driven out, and they were made to go back to wherever they came from, and I guess the people staying at the hotel, I don't know, they probably didn't go back to the Red Lion. Who knows what ended up happening to them. And of course, the media doesn't care, and the leftists in our government do not care. But the fact of the matter is, we should care. Uh, this uh, Later this year, I'm going to want to be doing some traveling, and I would like to hope that I'm staying in a hotel that isn't going to be taken over by hatchet-wielding maniacs. Anyway, that's what I have to say about the hotel takeover in Olympia. I hope you guys have a great day, and I will talk to you in a while.